example of the keyboard interaction with just just a continuation of the last one, so we try to implement a toggle switch instead of just one push on off button. So we start with a new touch designer project first. Again, we close the palette window, remove everything except the output window, and then we can create a new project folder with the name called Keyboard Two. We rename it and also create the movies folder. Save on the desktop. And then in the second step, we try to find another movie and copy it to the movie folder. And eventually, we drag this into the Keyboard 002 project. So this is again the direct input and output from the movie to the output window. Again, we can also turn on the full screen display from the root, that is this slash. With the perform window, and we turn on the changing the, the opening size to fill, and also remove the border. Save it, and when we press the perform mode, so there will be something like this, the trailer of this movie. Okay, going back to the keyboard input we again select the keyboard in and we choose again the zero key and we have done by inserting a node over here and then turn on the viewer active of the node and just drag it to the playback button over here and export the chart. So this is the last exercise where you can press the zero key on and off. And the reason that I explained in the last exercise is that I use the no because at some point of time you may consider to add something in between. So in this case, you do not do, need to redo the drag and drop again over here. So in this case, we have the demonstration by inserting another object right here. So we can right click on your mouse and do an insert operator. For this one, we insert something called the logic. So logic is the manipulation of the on and off logic such that in this case, we do not just use the key as press on and off, but we use it as a toggle. So that means when you press 1, it changes the status, for example, from 0 to 1, and wait at 1 until you press the key again, and you will toggle back to 0, and then wait there until you press it again. So we can have the demonstration when we click on the logic and in the parameter window we choose the channel pre-operation. So the initial default is off and we can just choose the one we use like toggle. And then we can have a look of the result. If you press 0 once, it turns into 1 over here and stay at this value 1 until you press the 0 again it's turned to 0 so as a result in the now window it becomes an on and off status 0 and 1 which trigger the playback and pause of this particular movie so we can have a look in a full screen mode so when I press to play back and it's continue to play until it loops again and again and again.
again and when I press 0 it stop at that particular location so when I press escape it go back to the edit mode so now we conclude this version of the playback control by using just one single key in the keyboard in the next couple of lessons we try to use multiple key in the keyboard to have more flexible control of your movie